Alrighty, February 17th here. I'm Sunday back at the office here at Canners, and I got some old friends back here again. Uh, I got the guys from Downtown Attractions here. How you guys doing? Oh, good. Yeah, super, cool. yeah, super cool. Yeah, super cool. So since the last time we were here, I mean, like a few months ago, some things have changed. What's changed? Huh? Um, we seen Jesus Christ. Uh, first of all, <laughs> we wanted the <this> zoo. <laughs> Uh, we all went to, oh, well, we got signs. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are now part of the Sony family, correct? Yes. Well, it's, um, it's Eat Sleep Music Group, mm -hmm. and they're partnered with Sony. Sony's doing all the distribution. Cool. Very, very cool. And what was it? This what? Wednesday you guys signed, right? Yeah. 2 13 13. Yeah, nice. Pretty recent news, yeah. Nice. Did nice. not plan that, but. So I mean, how's the guys? Any any different feeling, or are you guys like kind of like? It's still sinking in. It's still sinking in. We'll <laughs> see how it goes in the next you know, couple months. See how things start actually start to happen. You guys all putting together your list on things to do, things to get, things you want to try to pick up. Yeah, there's a lot to do now. Yeah. Very cool. Actually, yeah, things are getting more schedule like and yeah, you know, starting to get a little business like which is good okay well recently also you guys just almost we did your own recordings for the album that you guys want to put put out so now you guys are going to go back in the studio then right and redo everything right okay yeah. um there's a chance certain tracks we might be able to keep like certain uh, like maybe a drum track is great and we can get it remixed with the oh, other okay. stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll but, that. but for the most part we're probably going to re-record everything okay have you guys have any, a studio or a producer in mind right now, or are you kind of still um, juggling through the... We're, we're basically just... label is basically like, um, find someone you're comfortable with, and they gave us a couple names. I don't really think we can say them yet, but just, you know. But, yeah, we're just going to check out producers, check out the studios, and see what kind of vibes we get. Very cool. Well, how, how did this come about? How did it start? Who found you? Or how did it, you know, how did Sony find you guys? <laughs> we were in Down and Out in downtown. Thanks, by the way, for uh, Derry Martinez to have book us over there that night, especially. And now yeah, we were just... Months ago, right? Yeah, it was like, what, three months ago? Yeah, three months like that. Ago. Special thanks to uh, Omar. Because uh, what happened was is we, we played the show downtown and this guy Omar uh, does uh, David Mitchell's the president of the head of the label and he's like hey check out this band downtown attraction and he checked us out and like three days later you know all our inboxes and our Facebooks were like we want to meet you guys and set up a meeting you know we want to sign you so nice very that cool. was a surprise yeah, yeah we thought it was just a Sunday night oh we're playing this bar again little do we know <laughs> diamond in the rough that, that, that just goes to show though I mean it doesn't matter what gigs you guys play you just never know who's gonna actually be in the room that night yeah absolutely and, uh, very yeah. real life lesson yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. You're the right mom in the right spot, right? That's how you say it, Yeah, right? yeah. Very cool. There you go. Um, you guys have any gigs coming up anytime soon? That's just... The 25th of February, mm -hmm. which is like, or like 10 days from now. Less than yeah. eight, 8 days, to be precise. At the Roxy Theater, 10 p.m. Free show. Free show. All ages. All ages. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be our first <laughs> show. First show at Sign Band. That is correct. Yeah. It's yeah. good, yeah. We're gonna show a few new songs there. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna play with the um, Stitch. Oh, yeah. Still standing? It's gonna be still standing. Um, stitched Apart, the High on Lows, and uh, something. Yeah. Symp symphony? I can't remember their name. Go on Facebook, Marco. Go on Facebook. Got, oh, shit. We got three out of four. <laughs> man. But no, it's gonna be a good show. Uh, <laughs> love playing shows, Stitched Apart. Stories are super nice. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Great. Well, you guys just also came up, uh, came back from up north, correct? Like San Francisco, you guys played a show yeah. up there? Yeah. How did that go about? Yeah. With our friends, Stellan Empire, we went there. We the like northern week. people, it was just, they're just so nice. That sounded like, they're just so nice. So nice. So nice. Yeah, it was super cool. Very. Bring us cases of beers uh, and uh, having a backstage uh, with a piano in there and extra couches. 
No. Tequila? No, thanks. Tequila, me. No, I'm good. On the rocks, you see? On the rocks. It's on the rocks, there you go. Yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, you know, so many things, you know, you go in the backstage and there's like, you know, two boxes full of beers and water and, you know, and like donuts and here in LA, I mean, people don't really treat you like that. Really? And that's, you know, our second experience like that because we went to Texas last year, you know, we did, uh, we did a tour, like I told you already, and mm -hmm. yeah, people just treat you so differently, but it's all right though, you know, it's a good city to start, I think. So now are you guys going to concentrate on getting some shows or now with being signed now, now you guys got to start laboring around looking for a studio? Yeah, exactly. That is correct. The product's the biggest obligation right now. Yeah, so right now, now you're looking at a full-blown business now. Uh, right, <laughs> <laughs> actually, the, the, our, la our lawyer told us to actually get like a, um, a business manager and an accountant, did he say? Mm -hmm. He said, said well... We really yeah, did that right now. Different, wow. different jobs. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little, uh, uh, a little. I mean, because we have we have a we have a band account, so they're like, okay, well, on the we first, we're giving you guys a check, <laughs> so you guys should maybe get a business manager account. I'm like, why? I'm like, well, because we're putting X amount of dollars in your band account. It's like, oh fuck, <laughs> like, we're getting tattoos. <laughs> We're going to street cops again. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's all exciting. There's a lot of work to do, but I think just being signed, it's, it's exciting to have feel like there's some kind of security, like there's someone behind you, so we can, you know, it's just it's a first step in the bigger picture. Yeah, I agree with that. Us. Yeah. I think that's why. I mean, that's why personally really excited. You know, everyone else is. You know. Yeah. It definitely feels good, you know, to be on the you know next level. You know, we thought about it a lot. You know, we pushed it so much. We pushed this band so much. You know, and we never, you know, we never stopped. You know, and, and you know, I don't know. It just feels good. You know, it's good to see that you know there's so much you know, we're gonna be able to do in the near future, and you know, it's great. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys. I mean, I think Tony made a great, great, you know, pick and choosing you guys, and, and that they got the, you know, music to them and stuff like that. Because there's no doubt you guys got the look. But I mean, like I was just talking with Jack a little while ago, that you guys have the sound to back it up. I mean, it's very, very unique. So you guys are still rock and roll, but there's a twist in there and stuff like that. I think you're gonna bring out something new to the to the public eye and I think it's gonna catch on pretty yeah, big. Yeah, that's my way now. Yeah, that's my way now. Yeah, that's my way now. Thank you. Why are we still talking? That is so true. I agree with that. But it's not it, like the it, thing is like it's stay on that wave though. Don't go down the wave. Yeah, I mean you guys can fit so many different bills and everything and just, I, I mean, I, we were talking about, I mean you guys are just raw, just raw talent. I mean you guys just get up on stage, you plug in, nothing fancy, and you just play. You just play, and and if anything, that's where your talent shines and stuff like that. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think you guys, you, got, you guys got something very, very special here, man. Thank you, David. Stop. Rock and roll. There you go. Rock and roll, baby. There you go. So, rock and roll. So now that you're gonna receive something in your bank account real soon, what is the what is your primary thing to do? What is one of the things that you're looking forward to doing? Oh man, I'm the wrong person to start with. Come on, Marco. Dude, I'm, I see a forty five forty five hundred dollars like uh, left to pay my car. So I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Pay off my car. I'm boring. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get rid of you know debt. That's it. Ready? I already told uh, my good friend Joy buys uh, my girlfriend. Uh, I like uh, my friend Moscow. And we're gonna go to the street club. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe you can go to like the Spearman Rhino instead of the Seven Fail. You know, go to some fancy <laughs> strip. Uh, yeah, no, we were thinking to go to, uh, to to Jambos uh, because they play rock and roll, they play Manson there. You know, and I like to support those dancers. I'm really, like, I tip them all seriously. Oh, yeah. look at my big heart. Oh, look at this. Uh, uh, instead of going to a bar hard. and fucking watch Lakers losing. Uh, <laughs> 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 Oh. Shane's oh. gonna get invested in the Lakers <laughs> to get some lessons. Why don't oh, why should we go to the, the street and watch them there, you know? There you spend go. Spend all Kirby, our money on know? a day out with Kobe. There you go. Me? Yeah. Uh, oh, gear, tattoos, fun times, that's about it. Very cool. Very cool.
Are we going to see the big old drum cage and everything now? Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe the 360 rotation Tommy Lee style. Oh, there you go. You're going to get strapped in, huh? Oh, yeah. Strapped in all the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to get tattoos. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I just want more ink. But on a, on a good note, though, the lip, I mean, the tech is going to go to recording. we got to pay the lawyer and the manager. So we're, it's not like we're giving, like, a ton of money. But they're like, we'll give you guys some money to go have fun with and play with. You're just not getting all of it because they're like, yeah, you said I, I don't trust you guys. <laughs> I'm like, I don't trust this either, so. That's funny. That's funny. So, I mean, you really haven't heard too much about the new stuff. I mean, can you... Clue us in on what it's like or what, what you can come on the 25th. All the people that listen is gonna listen to this interview. You guys come to the, the show, and that's the best way to discover new music. You know. How long is your set for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Oh! So you're gonna try and squeeze in as much as you can, huh? Yeah. Yes and no. Like the last time that we played in Moscow was 30 minutes. We tried to be like all the way down up there. Uh -huh. But it's cool to have some kind of, uh, you know, up and down. And I think the only thing we really see about the new songs is their song. I don't know. Not so much more like well written. It's just like we. We came out as playing a bunch of like really loud, playing fast, you know, a lot of screaming vocals. So I think uh, the newer songs just, you know, just have a, a different dynamic. You know, it's almost like if you listen to Appetite, it has its own like cohesive, like it's all raw and whatever. And then like Use Your Illusions, they, you know, they worked on the songs a little bit more, just experimenting. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, yeah, no. <laughs> That's really how I know about it. Talking shit in the corner. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? What's going on over here? Yeah. Like that like, when I said. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, decided to use the bathroom. Yeah, we just ate a really big meal. This. <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can get it's filled up pretty good. Falling out. But yeah, just brown. You out. prairie dogging it. <laughs> head. Resting right up the stairs. Can't leave in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so what do you? I mean, of course, of course okay. again, we're, you guys are signed and everything like that. Are you guys have anything going in the back of your minds of maybe places you want to go, maybe to go play at? South America. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Everybody I think is different. I don't know. I don't even know. How do you guys look at the future? For me, honestly, the biggest dream to come through is just the world tour. For me, that would be like, you know, once like I'm doing that, I'd be like, or I'm happy and you know, I can just die. For me, that's the goal. You know, it's not, you know, when I think about, you know, getting signed, getting big, getting famous or whatever, making money, you know, all this stuff. I mean, for me, it means... Yeah, you know, for me, it means world tour. You know, going on tour, you know. You know, selling like, you know, selling like, you know, I mean, I really hope... <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> All right, we kind of lost the band member here. No, but... we have to talk, no, we have to talk shit since he left. So, at this moment, Shane has just left to go feed the sharks. <laughs> Marco's not gonna continue his <coughs> world tour here. <laughs> uh, uh, that's true. Yeah. But no, no, that, that's what I was saying. You know, the first thing I think, you know, it's a world tour. You know, I would love, you know, selling records. That would be great. I mean, it's gonna happen. Everything, but I don't know. I think like you know, the four of us, you know, like on a tour bus, you know, just struggling in the world. To me, that would be like you know one of the greatest, like greatest experience of my life. And, you know, just go to country to country, you know, play your songs, play your music. Because the music at the end of the day it's universal. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, I just want to go as, as as far as possible, I guess. Maddie, where's your dream place to play at in front of? Oh, uh, dream place to play at? Uh, like spot? Uh, the, I really like the Palladium. Palladium? Yeah. I saw the stooges over there and like, and Defto, I heard today that Deftones, they do like, to do every year, mm -hmm. they do like the Palladium thing. I was like, okay. Yeah, like the place is so good. Well, so cool. cool. Yeah, I know you want to see them. 
Oh, oh yeah, dude. I want to see also Oz there. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, you never know, dude. You never know. Never know. This is you. You're at the first stage right now. Correct. That's correct. So you got science. Then he's so. like, now, now the 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 work is gonna get harder. He says that it's gonna get easier, but it's gonna get harder. And no, it, it is because now it's it's really a full blown business. You've got and I love that. Yeah, you guys got big money backers now behind you, so they're gonna want they're. Like any business, they're gonna want they're gonna want results. Of course, yes, and we sir. need to be in those results too. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going into that. Very cool. Very cool. And you want to go where again? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I. This is Jack, by the way. I would personally. <laughs> I would like ever since we saw the Stones Rock and Rio. Oh, I was like, that's insane. Insane. Like, I think that would be cool. Thing. Plus, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maddie and I have a thing for Latinas, and I think that would just uh -huh. be fun. She goes to South America, maybe Woo! Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, so. you know. Dancing in the rainforest, playing rock and roll with some. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you notice though, that, that, those would be kind of cool places, whether it be Brazil or even like somewhere over in Europe and stuff like that. They have those big festivals where you just play yeah, in front of like thousands of pounds, thousands of just crazy people just want to have a good time. Yeah, even like different places though. I heard that, I mean, the new Guns N' Roses, like just like a few months ago, they had the, their first tour in India. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know, I would like to just even you know, tour you know, those places that are not that popular, you know, places where not everybody goes. I mean, don't get me wrong, Brazil and Argentina, I mean, they were like first, like very like, um, like, like first on the list, but I don't know. I guess a like, world tour like everywhere. Yeah. You know, we always talk about it, me and Maddie, you know, like you know, our dream, like, oh you know what? Like as you know, Guns N' Roses that had one of the one of the longest <laughs> touring rock and roll. Yeah. Two and a half years. Almost three. We always talk me and Maddie being like, oh you know, it would be so cool to like, you know, like a four year a four year tour, you know, something like that. You know, just it just yeah. go, it just go, it just go, it just That'd be go. Epic. One of my dreams is like I mean, I mean, like you know, like the like Metallica and Guns did the the, the first yeah. longest tour, three years and a half. Why don't double that and put it seven years? So like as soon as the tour is done, since the you're so big, you're so popular, I guess. Like they, you don't need you don't need another album to do it. You just start over again. Uh -huh. Three years. Yeah, that's true. I mean, when you tour for so long, I mean. People are expecting another album out of you. Just yeah. fucking get lost in the world, man. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Just fucking fell asleep and woke up in Denmark. Let me woke up in fucking Amsterdam, like, you know, like Jamaica. Fuck yeah, you know. That is so dumb. Wait, we can see you do the record on tour. No big deal. Yeah, that too, exactly. Well, I mean, you guys are at stage one right now, so I mean, it's just from here on, it's just up. I mean, as long as you guys can continue what you're doing, I mean, it, that's where it's going to continue to go, right. just straight up yeah. and stuff like that. So, I'm not sure if we're going to get Shit, that's back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to get him back. Yeah, here. Just no, Shane has a tendency to do this right before show. Let's go up in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's can go finish it up in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Going on, <laughs> <laughs> and here he is right now. Oh, speaking Check of the here. devil, he's oh, back. He whoop. made it. Sorry, Just I couldn't wait. That was intense. Yeah, roast <laughs> beef was good. <laughs> the pastrami. It fought so. back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Right, so what is what is your dream place to uh, play at? Oh, I'm going back to the homeland, India, baby. Oh. Woo. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Know. Anywhere with Asian women, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Woo. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, like I was saying, yeah, like I said, I mean, you guys are on a roll right now. You guys got things going. I mean, just keep doing what you're doing, working hard, making great music, and the sky's not even the limit for you guys, man. Yeah. So. So it was good yeah, meeting yeah. up with you guys again, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. Thank it was, you. It was excellent, right. man. Excellent. So, I mean, I'm going to see you guys on the 25th and don't know what's going to happen after that because you guys are probably going to be maybe locked up in a lot of business stuff and everything. But uh, should do an interview on the 25th after the show. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to have an after party after the show. It's always, I mean, that's for sure, a big after party at our place. Yeah, that's a routine. That would be cool. After, after the show, mm -hmm. do an interview, just all 
Alright. Sounds like a plan. Awesome. Alrighty guys, well thanks for coming back out dude. Mm -hmm. Hook it up, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you for this like delicious dinner. All right. Yeah. See you guys on the 25th. Enjoy See you soon. It. Oh, by the way, people can find you on what? You got uh, Facebook. Website?